Well, hello. It's been a while since we just sat and talked. Anyway, just thought I'd show you what I've been reading lately. And uh, first one up is uh, the Creature Commandos. Now, this was a, uh, a this is a collection of the comics that came out in the '70s. It was in Weird War, Weird War Tales, uh, roughly I think like one or '93 through one oh something, one twenties, something like that. And I remember as a kid seeing these on the racks, and I, I didn't like to buy the Weird War books because. Uh, what was on the cover wasn't the entire story. There was often little stories inside there. And I was really all about superheroes mostly when I was, when this was out. Probably I would have been between ages of like five and, and uh, probably eight. So I really gravitated more towards uh, the superhero stuff. So I read this cover to cover uh, last weekend. I'd like to say that I really enjoyed it, uh, but I can't. Uh, I would say this is a steaming pile of garbage. <laughs> and... Uh, it, it, this cover is great. It's Joe Kubert cover, uh, but the artwork on the inside isn't great. And what's weird is, is a J.M. Uh, DeMatey's story mostly, and you know he did Craven's Last Hunt and a few other great stories, but uh, this is just terrible. So I don't know if this was just uh, get it done for the deadline, but uh, can't recommend this one. This one, on the other hand, I'm about halfway through. It's called All of the Marvels. It's by Douglas Wolk. Now, his beginning of this uh, has some stuff that I, I think is going to incite some people. It talks about some of the uh, what people would deem social justice uh, type stuff going on in comics and changing genders and, and races and things like that. But uh, for the most part, I, I kind of like what he said in here. And he literally read all half a million pages of uh, Marvel Comics from 1961, I think, till 2019. Um, so, I, you know, I largely have read most of those as well. Now, the only difference is I read them in time. Uh, he did this like over a two-year period where he read everything digital, you know, trade paperbacks, wherever he get his hands on old raggedy copies. So uh, more on that. But just halfway through, I, this has a strong recommendation. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or anywhere. Um, it's it's really, really good, though, especially if you're into Marvel. Uh, it, it really delves into uh, everything about Marvel, and, and I really enjoy it and recommend it highly. But I, I know, I know, most of you are here to see the slab, so... Without further ado, where the hell are the slabs, man? Here they come. Enjoy! Hello, everybody. We're back. <laughs> Not that long ago. Now it's Christmas time. It was Christmas It was time. almost the same year. It was, it was, we videoed that and almost uh, got the video within a week. Yeah. So that, that's, a, that's a new thing. So our, our official sponsor is, as always... Genesee cream ale or Genesee. Yeah. Mike's having a. I get the I get the nice little frou frou one here. Yeah. I get the strawberry we're, one. We're only weeks I'm away special. from coal shut here. Oh, okay. So that is exciting. That's the ruby red grapefruit beer, which is fantastic. Oh, it's seasonal. It is seasonal. They only they only they don't make a lot either. So it's those just, old cans that I have in my house are not considered. Uh, no, they're worth those drinkable. Are, those are I'll bring them over. I'll drink them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find. Let's find out. We'll have a they're, science experiment. They're a little dusty. Oh, nothing like the original. <laughs> oh, the original Screamer, yeah. Yes, the original Jenny Cream Ale. Anyway. Mm. So, we got a few boxes today. Mike, for those of you, I think you post them on Instagram? No. Oh, the boxes? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. So, Mike has a picture of him standing next to six, I don't know, six, maybe seven boxes yeah. of comic books um, that haven't been opened. So, uh, it's funny because people see those boxes and they go berserk. And they start power texting and calling Mike. <laughs> I want the. Well, I want what's in that box. I want. They don't even know what's in the box, and they want what's in there. They, they yeah. have no idea what it is. Yeah. It's kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, so uh, today I, we have. I, uh, we have an express order, but I will say that I marathoned through over the holiday season, and I dumped a whole bunch of books into the CGC pipeline. Um, Thirteen boxes, actually. <laughs> so this is. Not all 13 right here, right now, but we actually have four boxes we're going to open. The rest we'll do in separate videos. But uh, uh, it depends upon whether the value tier, I sent Express down to a value tier submissions in. Um, the value tier is out there probably a couple of months, but uh, all in total 13 boxes. And uh, I would say probably, definitely quantity wise, this is the most books I've ever submitted at once. And value-wise, I mean, it's it's astronomical. <laughs> Just it's lots of fun. You know. <laughs> and, and the best part, I think, eighty percent of these books had been for sale for the last year or two. Um, these are just leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the sound effect. 
so so a lot of these books had made the the, the convention you know circuit i've had oh, yeah. them online uh, people have dug through the boxes dozens of times i, I said it's enough's enough i'm going to send up the cgc make room for some new stuff um and so yeah so this first box is going to be it's express it's 24 books i was i was one book short because i put the one book that i wanted to make 25 total into the wrong pile i decided not to go back and find the 25th book and yeah. i said you know what i'll just send 24 in um that 25th book was actually silver surfer number three um, that will appear in the other video we're going to do next. Yeah, it's a standard tier book. <laughs> so anyways, but yeah, this is a 24, almost a full submission. And uh, as, as always, or as, as recently, got a fistful of, of these things right here. A lot of CGC, CPRs, and a couple... Uh, yeah, yeah, we got some we got some old labels. Old labels, and I see some CBCS. We got some CBCS. I see a purple label. Ooh, That's exciting. CBCSs. Uh, we got some restored ones here. Right. We got a couple... Couple of, Let's uh, see if there's any juju ones. left, any, any zingo magic. And I, I dropped a couple here on the floor here, so let's see. Oh, X Men took a spill. Well, let's start getting the uh, whipping the panties let's, off. Let's those, start. Let's start rolling Schiller here. Say. <laughs> okay. Oh, and one other thing to note here, because I sent so many books in, I forego or forewent. That's the proper tense. Our usual little tags here with the uh, notes on them and the grade guesstimates. I just made a list. Um, I just had He's too many books. Right now. I just had too I many books great. to send in, <laughs> so I decided to make a little list. I'm going to read them off of here as we dig through. Uh, so let's go and look at the list. And you know what? This is the wrong list. Hold on, flipping over. Got so many of these things. Ah, here we are. Oh, so I got you pages pause. and pages of the notes. Thing. There we go. That was intentional. It you know, it's kind of decoy. You can't see the actual. Yeah. Here they are, actually. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so the first one we got. Actually, we can do some shootouts here. All right. Um, oh, let's do some shootouts. Let's do some shootouts. Que pasa, gringo? Isn't that what you said in the video? <laughs> well, I think that was your voiceover of my actual. No, that was so totally you. <laughs> so here's here's a couple of books. Maybe Spider Man number nine, a seven zero, an old label. It's Nick's favorite term, old label goodness. I know <laughs> that's a pet peeve. He hates <laughs> Is a Spider Man number nine, six point five. These labels are really kind of crappy looking. God, they were impossible to see the distance. You know what though? I think it's, somebody did a video on it where uh, they liked that they this was better because it highlighted the book and not so much the grade. Because yeah. I'm as guilty as anybody. When I when I walk by at a show, I look for the number. And then yeah. I look for the page quality. It was hard. It definitely yeah. had to show you couldn't see them that well. Yeah. You had to go look at you know, a wall, for Can example. Yeah, that weird thing. Um, pick, pick your weapon. I'll take this one. This one's got a kick-ass date stamp. Because that one's nicer. Stamp. Look at that kick-ass date stamp, huh? That is awesome. So the grades prior nice. were, well, I can tell from over here. They were a 7.0 and a 6.5. And looking at my notes, yes, yeah, 7.0 and a 6.5. I just love his So these are both... Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> you probably saw that on Wardrobe already. malfunction. Woo. So these are CPR books, uh, CGC 70165, and they are now... Two, three, boom. <laughs> oh, nice. seven, five, and an eight. Wow, those jumped. Wow. So it, this was the 6.5. Uh, it went up a whole point. That was a 7. It went up a whole point. So they both went up That's one point. That's an awesome looking book. Wow. Look how wow. clean that is. Oof. That's pretty nice. It's a, it's a way to start. Um, most of these books will be for sale. Uh, I'll probably keep the nicer one of those two. I don't have a number nine in my collection, so put the checkbook down. Keep the eight oh. Yeah, put the checkbook down. Don't rush into it just yet. Oh, I need some more room here. Okay. Oh, so there is there is another one here. There's actually a the triple shootout. Three of them. It's a guy hiding up in the rocks that picks you up. <laughs> the sniper. <laughs> okay, so according to my notes, this one was going to be, this one was, I thought, a six, no, a five, five. Five, five, survey says, boom, six, up. and I bought that book raw. Oh, that's so beautiful. It's a little better than I thought, so that's good. So we got a six, oh, seven, five, and an eight, oh. Really, the only thing that kept this from being a seven is right across the top there, you got an edge-to-edge fold color break. Other than that, this would have been a 7 0 all day. Give me this guy. Give me that one. Of course, Spider Man. You didn't get to throw a punch. All right. Craven. So, this book was a raw book that I bought from our buddy Carl. Carl and Auburn. Uh, this one was a, I thought, a 7 5. 
He had this book for a long time, by the way. He brought it to a number of shows, and I liberated the book. So I thought it was a 7.5. Boom! Right seven. on. Nice. nice. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit nicer, but I noticed when I got home after I bought the book, the back cover has a couple little small tears along the top edge. Oh, kind I, had, of. I saw a couple little small tears. So. Very, very little. Um, yeah. It does present very nicely from the front, but unfortunately those little tears are going to count against it. I'll take that. Uh, this one's, this book's been heating up lately. Spider-Man 50. Um, always be a classic, I think. Time for a shootout. Oh, you got another one? Oh, yeah. Got two of them. Boy, that's nice. That's really nice. Look at that. And? Wow, that one might even be nicer. Oh, it is. I picked mine, nice. I picked mine on purpose. That's give, really give you the better deep, copy. deep color. So this was a CPR book. This was a 6L. This one wasn't? This was raw? Or... That was a raw copy. Mm. Um, I got that from Kim. Musician oh, Kim. Oh, yeah. Yep. He had it on his wall, like, I think for $300. So, real nice copies. And was the CPR? You got a raw one? Oh, Ooh, nice. went up a half a point. So, I got a 6.0. Six, oh. Yeah, 6 out of 6.5. Mm. Nice. I wonder what the number of, someone wrote 18 on there. That was the distributor date. Probably 18 copies came in that week. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's pretty cool. So, you got a pair. Oh, this has uh, got a nice date stamp on it. Yeah. It's a little hard to see. Right there. Somebody was sitting with a date stamper just going nuts that day. <laughs> oh, Time for another shootout. Spider-Man 129. You know, this book is weird to me. Of course, it's got my favorite thing on the back. Evil Knievel. Our buddy Evil. Um, but the, the Punisher's kind of had his run. But this book has, has stayed on. You know, the two books that you always think of in the Bronze Age are this and Hulk 181. Mm -hmm. And 181 I kind of get because Wolverine is you know, one of the biggest characters yeah. out there. But Punish really isn't anymore. And yeah. It's just funny that this book has remained. So this. before you open that. What were they? Or lift it off. So these are both CPRs. Uh, one was the 7. One was the CBS 8.5. I have a tale of woe to tell you. And you have the book right there. Yeah. That little piece of uh, missing ink if you can zoom in on that so yeah, you look Spider at spider-man's arm. arm there's a little bit of uh flaking little color loss yeah so i only had this happen one other time there was something that was sticky or tacky on the front cover and when i cleaned and pressed it whatever was there and i'm guessing it might have been like oh, soda so I, I can imagine this somebody opened up a can yep. a little bit of droplets went onto the comic they dried, but they weren't sticky until it warmed back up. So when I put that into the press, the next day I took it out, that part of the comic stuck to the release paper just enough that it pulled a little bit off. That's so that really nice. That was a that was a CBCS 8.5. I don't think it's an 8.5 anymore because they're going to take off with that little that little speck. Little flake. Yeah, so it's a heartbreaker. Um, I think it still has a shot at an eight. Um, this one cleaned up pretty good. This was a seven. I think they're both going to be eights. And I think this one got a lot nicer. Uh, it had a little bit of a, you know, this one too. The, spine. the cut isn't exactly great on this one. So. Yeah. So it's it's my tale of woe. I think that lost went from an eight. Well, let's see down. what happened. So one. we now have two, three. Oh, hit in midair. Eight. Nice. Almost collided. Yeah. Yeah, because that one I think had a shot at a nine five. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of wear in yeah. the spine. But yeah, that little tick right there. Plus, there's a little bit of flaking down there to yep. the bottom. Um, lesson learned, you know, when I go through. And it's hard to catch that stuff, though, because sometimes it's very, very small. There's a little bit of tape residue, maybe, or um, little. This is a great example of not uh, buy the book, not the grade. Because I think this is, even though it started its life out as a seven, I think it's a nicer book. Yeah. I would take this all day over the other one. Yeah. So, kids. When you're out there buying books, look at the book. Don't just look at the grade. Ooh. <laughs> the guy's in the rocks again. Yep. I got a guy on the, on the saloon roof with his oh. rifle. Uh, I'll let you have this one. So we have a third copy. Now, this third copy... Could even never look so good. This... Yeah. Uh, pimp stick. This was a CPR. This was a 9.0. I think it's even nicer. So this one looks really nice. So it was a 9.0. It's now... <laughs> Wow! I should have zingo that. Wow! Wow! I did. Um, so wow. What, what, what does Nick? What does Nick call that? 
It's a, it's at least a triple, right? No, I think it's the other it's a mother effing winning. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll have to put that on. <laughs> we'll the bleep that out. Yes, we'll bleep that. Well, you said wow. that. in the real world. No. But you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I got a couple more Spider Men in here. The other box has a bunch of Spider Men in it, right? Oh yeah, the all eight. Almost all Spider Men. Yeah. Ah, Morbius. I saw the trailer. This looks pretty good. Did you see all the trailers? Like three or four of them out. Yeah, I'm one of the main one really shows face. Yeah, it's very Lost Boys esque. Yeah, they're actually playing uh, one of the Lost Boys songs too. Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah, yeah, makes sense. It had that same vibe to it. Uh, this Trying one... to get on the nostalgia of people my age. Yeah, this one. I think this is an 8.0. It's really wild. Uh, I bought this book raw a couple years ago. You need extra money. I had this book at a couple of shows. People kept putting it back, putting it back. Nobody bought it, so I sent it in to be graded. And it's an 8.0. Nice. Perfect. That's a great book. Perfect. I was a little kid. That freaked me out so much with those arms. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember thinking, that, you know, is that something you can catch? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is nice. I know I always talk about this, but every time I see this book, I always think some dumb kid colored it in. Yeah. Because how hokey looking the Spider-Man is. Well, this is nice because this is a CPR book. It was a purple 5.0. And so, that means you rescued it. Yeah. So, and it was a C it was a C1. So it had a little bit of ink on there along the spine. Yeah, right over here. You can yep. see where the ink removal was. And quite often, unfortunately, it takes the yeah, color off. I but had to take it off. Yeah. yeah. Still, it's a nice book. Square edge, too, Mike. Nice, nice. job on that. So Look it was that. a purple 5. It's now a blue. Oh, oh it's state of five. Nice. nice. That's a super win right yeah, there. Nice. Page quality is off white to white. Off That's white to white. Here's the next one. Ooh. Now I know. So it's a Batman 227. So this was a CB CBCS book. Um, there's a little story behind it. This is actually the pinnacle hill copy of this book so i bought this book and i paid quite the premium to get it yeah. um i'll tell you this story off camera nice. but but yeah I, you know what I, I didn't think it had much of a chance at an improvement but see these little rust stains right back here so there's a little bit of rust transfer from another book and uh oh, you can book. see it in the white right there sure, yeah. yeah so it's got a little rust transfer there's not much you can do about those things um, these staples are not rusty, but the other book underneath that was. But, anyways, I wanted to get a CVC case on it, so I decided to send it in. So, Boom! oh, it went down. Okay, yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I thought it might come back as a nine, but that rust is kind of iffy. Uh, they're a little bit more strict, I guess, at CGC on that rust. It is a great looking book, though. Yeah. Anyone that loves yeah. this, this book that is just an awesome copy of that. yeah this is a keeper this is definitely a keeper yeah. book i was looking for a nice copy i didn't mind paying up for it plus so. the, just the, what it is too you know yeah. you know where this came from yep pretty cool cover swipe for detective 31 for those of you yep. out there that like that kind of thing so this next one this was a raw book the go. rare Prince Namer in his red swimming trunks. Got the, the green <laughs> variant <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, He's got the rare green armor on. Yeah. There's a lot of going on wrong in this, right? I don't think they really cared back then. Nah. It's like these dumb, I mean, the these dumb kids are never going to notice. Take, take a look at the thing. I mean, he looks like he's about 15. He's kind of floating in space. One foot's kind of off the top of yeah. whatever building they're on. And they're, they're whatever their tower they're in, look in the background. Yeah. Everything else is like ant hill size. They're like about three thousand. Well, it looks feet like it's like a air. wasteland too. Like it's been blown up. <laughs> right. The whole city is gray. They're like probably towering three thousand feet up in the air. Uh, ten anyways, bucks. We Someone sold this for ten bucks. Yeah, it used to be ten dollars. I'll show you, show you the back in a second. So I thought this was a four or five. Boom. Five oh. Nice. 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 So somebody yeah. bought this for ten Half bucks. Point, really ten far. bucks back in the day. They're probably like maybe uh, someone like uh, Alan Garrett there. <laughs> going through and buying a book like that for 10 bucks back in the 80s. He tells those stories oh, on his channel, and I get I'm like, oh, God, how awesome that must have been. There was plenty. I mean, you were, you were probably looking at some of those at yard sales yourself back in the day. Yeah, they didn't, people didn't sell good books. But the problem is, I only had five bucks. I mean, everyone always mm -hmm. asked, you know, why didn't you buy these books? Why didn't you buy Why didn't you buy more? Ones? Well, because I was, you know, I didn't have the money back then. You buy what you could buy. I still say this is the better of the triplet covers. I agree. You know, I just think it's... It's too bad that they didn't have that. And if you read the trilogy, 48, 40, uh, 49, 50, it, they didn't like start the story in the, in the beginning of the book. Mm -hmm. Like it was almost like they were just 
uh, like Kirby and Stanley would write the story and it just yeah. how it ended is where it ended because if you read 48 it mm. doesn't start off with that story it finishes the storyline before it and right. then like six pages in it starts the story yeah and then this does the same thing and so does the other one because the one with Silver Surfer on it they're talking about Johnny going to college yes and, yeah got, <laughs> it's just it kind of fell off the cliff yeah it's like there's just these little and I think that came from when they used to do books like this no, you didn't have a story that went all every single page. Yeah, you would have three, four, because they were all like True. strange tales and you know all, all those kind of books. So yeah. it was just you know little stories at a time, and they did the same thing with their characters. Yep. So. so this was a CPR. This was a six five old label. And Boom! Nice oh. Yeah, look at that. And it's got your favorite on the back too. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> Boys, men. Mike Marvel. There you go. Mike Marvel. I wonder if he's still alive. Let's look it up and tell me in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Wikipedia's got Mike. What's his last name? Marvel. <laughs> Whatever happened to Mike Marvel? <laughs> Ghost. This is an oddity. So this is another book that I had laying around. I brought it to a bunch of shows. Nobody wanted it. Um, Ghost Comics has got really hot. Fiction House? This is Fiction House. So this, uh, Maurice, this is a Maurice cover. This is Maurice Whitman. And uh, basically, it's just a painted cover. They did about cool. they did about nine or so issues from this run. It's gotten super popular. Uh, like I said, I had this book. I opened it up, cracked it out of a case, uh, read the book, decided to sell it. Nobody wanted to buy it. It goes back into a case to sell again. So I thought, oh, actually, no, I didn't think it was a CGC 5.0. 1951. Before. It was a 5.0 before. Uh, I don't think I got the label because I think I returned it. Right. But. There was no real CPR value. I cracked it open just to read it. So it's still a five. Yep. That's what I thought. You get some nice I can see. Up. I can see through the back when you held it up. Oh. <laughs> you can see through the case. What is going on back here? Yeah, take a look. Electric at spot reducer. Keep slim at home. Take, take, take so, a look at take a so look she's at She's laying on here. her back and she's sticking this device on her stomach. Now, I'm sure that doesn't do there any was all kinds internal of organ damage. Yeah, like, there was as all long kinds as you look good, who cares, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jiggles, you're looking good these days. I'll take you out for a steak dinner. Because <laughs> if you watch TV, everyone in the 50s talk like that, apparently. Yes. <laughs> Time oh. for a shootout. This one's done this, price-wise. It's about to go back up. Yeah. You think so? Sure. All right. Because I got them. Are we going to do some videos like that? Buy these 10 books. <laughs> Did anyone ever go back and watch those and say, hey, you were full of crap, I, mortgage, I took a second mortgage and now, you know, now I'm eating ramen. Yeah. And, and selling myself behind the Denny's dumpster to make ends meet. <laughs> 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 That's the real video I want to see. Uh, Why can't I make investments to work out? I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> it's really tough back here behind Denny's dumpster. <laughs> okay. Back to reality. <laughs> so these are both CPR books. One was a 7 one was a 7-5. Oh, and it's our favorite thing, the new the new fly, the new hot birds. It's this metal thing you zip along on a zip line and kill your brother with. <laughs> I'll show it in a second. So, what could uh, go on? 7.0 and 7.5, let's see what we've got. Really we got close. a... Oh, oh I got an Holy Hannah, look at that. There you go. Like I said, the prices have gone up. Um, again, some of these are for sale. I'll probably keep this copy. I'm not going to sell both of these. But uh, it's not too bad. I, I gotta say, this <laughs> I didn't expect wow. this to go up a whole point. So this is what I was talking about. I didn't have that toy. Did you have this toy? No. I no. had Bullet Man. He was like a GI Joe, and he had a big chrome, yeah. chrome helmet, and he used to. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, you know, I was three years old at this point. I could barely, I could barely walk. I didn't have cool toys till I was about five or six. Yeah. I wanted, well, that, still had I wanted that stunt cycle so bad when I was five years old, and you know, it was oh too my expensive. God, yeah. It was too expensive. Twenty bucks, you never could afford it. There's a guy that has videos on it, and he's he's using it, and he's letting them jump. Have you seen him on YouTube? Yeah. It's crazy how far that thing actually they got, they got the remake. They came yeah. out with the remake last yeah. year. Yeah. That's not the same. It's like the, the Rock'em Sock'em remakes suck, so yeah. don't buy them. I made that mistake. The heads don't stay on for crap. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you pound them with a hammer. <laughs> no, the, the real old ones are awesome. Okay, so already we're off to a good start. This was a purple 7.0. Wow. Oh. So well, we're off so to a good was start. It, what was it? Can you spot it? Oh, I can. <laughs> so there you go. Somebody colored up that corner. Yep. So what do you think? It probably like a six five. Maybe? Um, I think it's pretty noticeable because it was a seven. That I definitely, I'm gonna say it's dropped. <laughs> okay, nice. not too bad. Half no. a point. Um, did a good job filling it in. You couldn't really see it, but uh, obviously it was purple. So, yeah. um, once you take it off, it becomes very noticeable. 
getting down to the last few books. The nitty gritty. I'm just getting to the end of the glass here. I gotta start mine at some point. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. We're gonna take a slight break and we're gonna eat some dinner and we're coming back. I need like an assistant here. Yeah. Okay. You gotta get one. I got uh, I gotta manage this and my labels and the books and so the you colors got your, you got your two beers to drink. Colors a little off on this one. A little faded. Yeah. Probably spent some time in like a rack near a window or some idiot has some LCS things. had it on the comic shop yeah, wall for two years. Lights. So this was a 6.0. It's a CPR book. Boom! And nice. boom, it's a 7. Jeez. Who needs your Zingo magic? You got, yeah. you got no Zingo magic. I've been holding it in. <laughs> a, no, I used it all up with that Christmas video. Nah. That's a nice edge right I need, there. I need some more of that Zingo magic at all some right. point. I'm saving it for the, that Golden Age box that's coming in. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's okay. Do it in another week or so. I know what's going to happen. My Dracula. assistant, pick up, pick up my labels, Dracula. assistant. A bunch of suck your blood. <laughs> you know, I watched Blade Trinity the other day. It's a pretty good movie. It's really good. It's good. I forgot about, all about Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, yeah, it's and, funny. Uh, what's her name? One of the Jessicas is in it? Yep. There's like eight Jessicas. Uh, yeah. Jessica Beale. There, there's Beale. Yep. Yeah, Beale's in it. Uh, yeah, another, another CPR book. This was a 6.5. We know the routine. Oh, oh yes, so we're up a half a point. That's really nice. All right. Page Drop that girl, sure. Dracula, or this wooden knife will finish you off forever. <laughs> you, you, uh, honky, what, a, what does he uh, call him? You uh, jive turkey. Oh, yeah, the little jive turkey back then, huh? It's a nice book. What have we got? One, two, three, we've got four books left. That blade, that blade book is as hot as ever, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's gone up. It keeps going up. It's weird, you know. I I look at like you know Nick and others' uh, videos, and they're they're tracing the the prices as they're fluctuating. But there's some books that just aren't. They're not going down. They're just continuing yeah. that. You know, I mean, for example, I had uh, I had two nine fours of Twin Dracula ten. Mm -hmm. I sold a couple of years ago for I don't know, like fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. A four nine point four is like five six thousand bucks now. I mean, just, it's gone up. Yeah. After you think it's can't go up anymore. Yeah, yeah. It just doubles and just leapfrogs over Well, it's like I, I sold a bunch of the uh, Fantasy 448, 4950s, and I remember when I sold 49, I sold for like 850 bucks to yeah. a guy in Colorado, and if you're watching, I want my book back. <laughs> but he actually complained when he got it. He's like, mm, yeah. I don't know, this doesn't look like a 7.5. And I, I told him, right, I'll take it back. Yeah. Because in the time it took from when he bought it to when I got it, the book had gone up like $50. So I'm like, yeah, hey, I'll, I'll take it back. There like, you go. Send it right back. But he didn't. He kept it. That right. happened to me. So and I looked one, it up, one, and it's worth like two grand now. So, so uh, long story there, short, lucky. I just sold a Silver Surfer number one on Instagram. The guy didn't like it because it was signed by Stan Lee. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. I, I took it back, yeah. and I sold it for five hundred dollars more the next week. <laughs> yeah. So I have no problem taking yeah, returns. I don't either. So, so this was a sit back. This was a CPR book seven five, <laughs> and it's still a seven five. Nice. Whoop whoop whoop. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Is that the <laughs> My favorite. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, 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 I take it back. It was a creamed off white pages. It's now a off white. Off -white. So, so it's not. It's a half a win. It's not a total dump in the pants. So, no dump in the pants no. on that one. What were you, <laughs> you got excited on that I one. I did. I was all ready to, to launch into that. <laughs> oh, well. You think when they come back out with the X Men movies that the Juggernaut will get relaunched? Oh, he's a great, he's, he's a classic, right? right? They'll, yeah. they'll do something with Juggernaut at some point. Reference him. No English accent. Nope. Uh oh, well, we got an old-fashioned shootout, shootout here, again. folks. Got plenty of duplicate books. Again, I had boxes. These full. These are really of nice, clean books on the back. I had, I had boxes and boxes of books at the shows I was at last year, and these books were just, they were just sitting around. Nobody bought them. Um, this one, well, I don't know, one of these was a 7.0. Seven oh. uh, let's see, which one looks nicer? That one. Yeah, okay. I'll take this one. <laughs> this one's got a so, cord that says an edge crunch on it. Yeah, that More one. More than likely when they put it in the rack, because it's yeah. right at the rack height. That was a raw book that I had. This was a CPR book, so this was a 7.0, and it is now I'm a... Oh, double! Nice. Look at that. So it went up, and it's still higher than your grade, so... It's a nice book. In the face. 7 0, uh, 6 0 is just a great book. Nice. You took we, one to the skull, what, so. We got one left? Yep, one left. Last book. Reach for the sky. 
somebody poisoned the water hole. I got a rattlesnake in my boots. So this is a uh, snake in my boots. Such a funny pose for a, for a robot to make. But it's uh, first appearance of the Sentinel. Speaking of dumping the pants. Yeah. You think this is going to be? No, I'm saying oh. the pose. You, oh. I set you ah, up. Ah, look at it. He's like a monster. Bah, I'm going That's to eat you. What do what, you I mean? But, but, does he have to intimidate a guy in a wheelchair anymore? Yeah. <laughs> a 10-foot tall robot. He yeah. still has to instill um, fear in it. This was a raw book. It was a 7.5, I think. That's my guess. And a little zingo. Yes, it worked perfectly. <laughs> we needed that zingo, man. Just a touch. Uh, that one will be a keeper. I, I've got three it's copies nice of that copy. book. Um, this one's the best one I've really got. Really good, good color, too. Yeah. Nice. All right. Look how white that is. Holy cow. Yeah. All nice white book. pages, so. That's it. Uh, just a lowly little box of cover Super variants age. and virgin, yeah. virgin variants. Uh, nothing really to speak of in that, that box of books. Do you like my new glasses? Did you notice my new glasses? Yeah, I noticed new glasses. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you like my new glasses. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Comment below. <laughs> yes. So that's one down, three more to go, at least tonight. Time to go eat some tacos. And we'll have some tacos first mm -hmm. and uh, another six pack of beer. Yes, that sounds like a plan. So, uh, I guess stay tuned. Does it make sense? Yeah, stay uh, tuned. Pack safe. You know, just uh, take a breather. Love what you have. Not what you want. We'll see you in a little bit. Yep. Pack safely. See you soon. Bye.